This video was inspired by a sexy bastard known as the swag. Link will be in the description. Oh my god! Nice. 12 seconds later. Welcome to a video on how to get good at Minecraft part 2. This video will begin the basis of adding more shit into your house, as well as starting the second main purpose of the game. Let's get started. From the last episode, we managed to do some of the basic shit that any fucking player could have done really, which included gather wood, getting food, gathering wood, getting stone, gather wood, and most importantly, make a house and gathering wood. Anyhow, since it is glorious as always when outside, it's time to learn one of the most powerful tools in survival Minecraft, the map. The map may not be useful for breaking shit, but looking at it once activated shows you are an ES version of your world, allowing you to figure out where shit is, and never get lost ever again. Almost all bedrock made worlds provide you with a map. And even better, they give you a map that shows you current location with this marker. The marker marks your current position and direction that you're currently facing. So if you turn right, it turns right. If you move left, it will move to the left. And if you decide to be a spastic and set your sensitivity to over 9000, then the marker will join you in your spastic ways and act out that epileptic kid at a disco party. However, advanced Minecraft players know that simply holding it in both hands is as efficient as trying to eat a packet of Pringles with a fucking spoon. So it is best to place this map in your offhand, allowing you to look at it in all of its glory whilst you do other busy shit. Speaking of doing other shit, it's time to set up a mine shaft, and to set up one, we are gonna need some more wood. So get that powerful as fuck stone axe out and get some more wood. Later. Nice job, look at all of that wood, ready for construction. Whilst the axe broke during the process, tough shit, we can always make another one back home. Now then, before we begin constructing our mine shaft, let us make something remarkable and fulfilling to the world that everyone craves for in a survival world. That block being the glorious chest. This savior of a storage unit allows you to store shit that you simply can't be fucked to carry. Have a lot of dirt, put it in the chest, have tons of valuables, put it in the chest. Have a private fanfic that you keep to yourself and read every night, you guessed it, put that shit in the chest. Now then, now that we're finished busting a nut over a damn container, it's time to build our mine shaft. Later. And there we have it, our glorious mine shaft. Whilst it's not exactly the best thing in the world, it doesn't have to be, since we don't fucking live in the damn thing. Let's put some chests in here for preparation for our mining expeditions. Pro tip, if you place a chest next to another chest, as long as it is facing the same direction as the other chest, the two will do a fusion dance and become a double chest, being able to stop twice as much as before, useful for storing shit. We also have a hole in the floor, ready for when we go mining and shit. Oh fuck. It's getting dark again. Quickly get inside the house. We don't want to deal with monsters. You know, it's not exactly a good thing to be awake and forced to wait for the night to pass. Though luckily for us, there is a thing called a fucking bed that we can make. That is, if we are somehow able to acquire some wool, and more importantly, wood. Okay, the day has finally arrived. Look outside, look at all of those sheep there, their bodies riddled with fur. Unfortunately, in our current state, the only way that we can get the wool is to slaughter them. Tough luck for these furry fuckers. Your wool will not go wasted though, as we now have a nice and comfy bed, ready for us to sleep and skip the night. Let us also get to work on mining today and see what we can find underground. Now to ensure that we mine safely, ladders will be used as a way for us to go up and down. Think of it like giving a cock a hand job. Now let us get to work and see what we can find. Look at that. Coal. And lots of it too. Let us mine it. For coal is beneficial in many future projects. And will also be a primary focus when cave exploring. Nice. We now have plenty of coal. Though it is dark as shit down here. So let us place a torch. As to prevent mobs from spawning down here. And having a grave party. 
As much as I want to go deeper, I think we've managed to get a good start for today. Let us head back up the ladder and deposit the extra cobblestone in the chest. Oh, look at that, it's now getting dark. Let us head back into our house before the night comes. Now we don't have to wait around anymore. All we have to do now is to sleep in the bed now. You motherfucker, quickly, kill that damn boner. And get in that bed quickly. Let us rest, and see you next time. Thanks to this guide, you will now know the basics of setting up a mine shaft, getting more wood, and making a bed to skip the night. Be sure to watch out for part 3 in 2 weeks time. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.